hello everybody welcome to my channel today is the day 23 and the problem is single number 3 so this is a problem 3 of the single number series so if you haven't solved single number single number 2 already try to solve them before attempting this problem so that you will get some idea how to proceed so let's read the problem statement and try to understand so given an array of numbers nums in which exactly two elements appear only once and all other elements appear exactly twice find the two elements that appear only once so in the given example we have 1 1 2 2 3 and 5 so 3 and 1 appears once so we need to return 3 and 5 while 1 and 2 appears twice so notes are the order of the result is not important so in the above example we can also return 5 and 3 is also correct your algorithm should run in linear time complexity could you implement it using only constant space complexity so we will focus on the constant space bit later let's try to solve this the very basic brute force approach so first approach is sort the numbers of the array so if we sort the numbers this array will become 1 1 2 2 3 5 once we sort it then we can first check the boundary cases so like if the number at 0 index is not equal to number at 1 index then we that 0th index number is our single number also we will check from the end as well the number at n minus 1 in index is not equal to n minus 2 index that is also our single number after that for all the rest of the number from 1 to n minus 2 index we will check this condition if the ith index number is not equal to i minus 1 index and the i plus 1 index like left or right then it is our single number we will use that in our array so if we see the time complexity of this solution is the time complexity of sorting the array which is n log n and the space complexity is o of n so this is what problem is not expected so second solution will come like we will do count the occurrence of each number and just iterate through the count and wherever we found the count is 1 that is our single number how we will do we will use the hash map here store the key and the value value is the count of the number once we added this so this is line from the previous so you skip don't for look this two line so once we count the frequency this will be the frequency like 1 is 2 times 2 is 2 times 3 is 1 time and 5 is 1 time then we will iterate through this value section wherever we found the count is 1 that is our single number so we will take those two numbers and return as an answer so if we see the time complexity is o of n and the space complexity of the solution is o of n but we need to try to achieve this space complexity in o of 1 and the time complexity o of n so how we will do so if you already solved the single number 1 and 2 you must have like we need to use bitwise operators like jar and all so let's understand first bit, little bit how the jar works so these are the two important property of jar operation which will be help in all the problem where we need to use the jar so if we do the jar of same number with the zero we will get the same number itself and if we jar two numbers same numbers we will get the zero so this property is very important to solve the single number problem is straightforward using this two property and single number two is little bit tricky so you can try i have also video i will share the link of those videos so now let's understand what is the truth table of the jar so jar truth table is like if both x and y is same like 0 0 and 1 1 then the jar of these is 0 both of them is 0 while if both of them has different bits so the jar is 1 so this is very important property and this is the truth table of jar so let's uh, move over the problem so we have this example one in the problem so if i write in the binary let's say for uh, explanation perspective i just represented in a 4 bit binary representation while in the memory it is stored as a based on your bit machine system like 32 bit or 64 bit so here this and also the integer in java is represented 32 bit while the long is at a 64 bit representation in memory so one the if we write binary is 0 0 1 2 is 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 3 is 0 0 1 1 and 5 is 0 1 0 1 so now what we will do the first step we will if we jar all these number so 
this will eliminate all the numbers which are occurring twice correct as we already saw the jor property so if we jor this all the four numbers of the array we will get uh, 3 jor 5 which is 6 so this is here representation of 3 in binary 0 0 1 5 in binary is 0 1 0 if we do so same bit means 0 and the different weight 1 then different weight 1 and the same weight is 0 so this is a representation of binary of 6 so now we know the jaw of the two number which we are looking for now the how we will get these two numbers so if you see over here this is the rightmost set width of our jaw of these two numbers so if we are getting rightmost set width one here then as per the jaw truth table like this if we are getting one then there must be the one of the number has that bit is set and the other is unset like one number will have zero and another number is one so we will make use of this property this is like a very critical property to solve this problem here so if we see here like five five has that bit is zero while the three has that bit is one so what we will do we will look for this bit and then categorize the all the numbers in our array into two group the one group which let's say the index of this bit is two uh, let's say i let it call i from the right side so we will uh, form two group one group like all the number whose ith bit is one and the other whose ith bit is zero so why we are doing this this is very important what we are doing we are trying to classify these numbers into two groups where so what will happen let's say we got uh, one so if we see the zero the one will come fall in here and uh, two will fall here second one will fall here second two will fall here and the three will fall here while the five will fall here so this is our group will be clustered and now as we already know the as per the jaw property the twice occurrence it automatically cancel out to zero and if we do jaw with the say zero is the number itself so same for here so once we did this we will get the first single number by jawing the all the numbers where the this set weight is making the zero up now the question is how we will check this all the like classifying this number so let's say we have this number six we got the jaw of our three and five which is the binary representation of six so we got this win now we need to first find out this bit and form a mask first so the mask will be form uh, we need to find the last one bit how we will find we will just do bitwise and with the one and then it's left shift every time and the from i start with the zero th from the last least significant bit so this is like this we will use this if we do and bitwise and we will get zero here then we move the one to here this will become this then we will do bitwise and with again our jaw number this will be give us one so hence we found this is our mask once we got the mass we will try to apply this mask to in our all the numbers in our array which is like 1 2 3 1 2 and 5 so we will apply this mask and classify these numbers in the two group as explained here so this is how we will get the number so this is a one way to get the mask another way if you know already like we i explained this in my having distance uh, uh, video you can watch out so there is a algorithm which is name as Brian Carningham algorithm why using this algorithm if we write any number let's say if we have a decimal number let's say it's 6 itself 0 0 1 0 if we subtract 1 in this decimal number which will be 5 the binary representation of 5 is 1 0 1 and 4 is 0 1 0 so if we subtract 1 in that number n then the all the rightmost bit after the last set weight will be reversed so see here and including that bit as well so these two bit are same while these two bit are reversed so if these two bit are reversed so what we will do let's say we got the jaw as jaw and if we do bitwise and 
of with jar of minus 1 so what we will get we will get to the uh, so let me explain more here this is very important point for this problem so first we got this this is our let's say jar and if we do jar minus 1 jar minus 1 will become our 0 1 0 1 now we will take the bitwise end of these two we will get 0 1 0 0 so once we got 0 1 0 so this side is already changed now if we take the bitwise jar again with our jar number with the this product so let's this is 0 1 1 0 so we will get the mask 0 0 1 0 so this is the second way to get the mask from this number so once we got this mask we will use as to classify the group so let's implement the code first so for implementation we need a one variable which is let it call jar initialize with 0 then for int and nums int and nums basically and the jar will be our jar equal to jar into n once we got the jar we need to get this mask so int mask is equals to this jar bitwise and with jar minus 1 and then bitwise uh, jar with the jar itself so that we will get the our mask once we uh, got the mask we will use that mask here and then we will loop over numbers again int num in nums and then we will check if if the so let's initialize our first number here int num1 which is with 0 we will check if this mask so we will do check group wise the mask bitwise and with the number n is equals to 0 so this fall into the one group where we will take this group number and do the jar with our number n itself and this number n we will get the first number once we get the first number the second number how we will get the second number so here if we have the number 1 and we know number 1 jar number 2 is our jar so if we again do jar with number 1 in with this both side jar with number 1 so we will left over here number 2 and right side is jar of jar with number 1 so this is how we will get the number 2 so this will be written as a array of two numbers which is number comma jar with again jar with number 1 so we will get the num2 so this is a simplest implementation so let's see it is compiling our code we are getting we can return any order let's submit our code So it is accepted. So the time complexity of this solution is O of n and the space complexity is O of 1. So this is the solution. And another approach to get the mask is this. This is like very tricky. It's not straightforward. If we do jar and with the negative of jar, this is how you can get the same mask and then uh, you can use. So try it out to understand yourself and if you are not able to understand let me know in the comment section i will explain in more detail so thanks for watching if you like my solution please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon thanks for watching again